Well, hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. We should call this one Flip Drag Lip Cups with Dirty Layered Grenades <laughs> Using Leftover pa But the title just wouldn't be long enough. So, I'm going to do some flipping lips. I'm going to do a grenade pour. Yay! I'm really excited to see these because we have had some really beautiful colours mixed up in the studio. Yeah. We've got some green golds, dark cuisine purples, there's some Bordeaux red in there. Yeah. And some marmalade. Some pearl marmalade. Some pearl marmalade. I love that one. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, please stick around for the rest of the train. We'll tell you who it's going to be at the end. But a couple of things. Pour Con Raffle. Yeah. Is this weekend? Yep. Jeremy, what are you painting? I am going to be painting a marbling technique. That's right, because that's what the class you're doing. That's the class I'm doing. Awesome. So there's 21 artists all pouring for your viewing pleasure from the 20, uh, sorry, from the 17th of June, starting at 12 o'clock Pacific, running all the way through till just after four o'clock, finishing up yeah. with Shelley from Shelley Art. So please come back on the 17th and see all that fun. And then on the 21st, which is the Wednesday after that, we've got a little Pride collab with Sarah Mack. Yeah. Which is going to be awesome. It is going to be great. And lots of pause in between. Um, thank you for being here. Happy Sunday, everyone. Let's get to the studio. Let's do it. Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. And welcome <laughs> to a weekend filming of the episode. <laughs> now what that means and why I'm telling you is because the weekend filming's means lawn mowers, children's cars, background noises, coyotes, hawks, the whole shooting match. Planes, normally. trains and automobiles. Now, all of those things. So um, it's currently quiet out there. It won't be for long. As soon as we come out, everyone else does for some reason. What am I doing today? Well, you've already heard Jeremy and I doing flip cups and grenades. I've chosen the flip cup because it's one of the techniques that I'm the most comfortable with. I love it. And I've got a 12 by 24 inch canvas. It has been backed and pinned. For anyone out there that wonders how we prep our canvases, we put the tape on the back because then when we peel the tape off, it's nice and clean. Yeah. And we probably sell about 90% of what we make. And then these pins here are just giant push pins that you can buy from Amazon. And the reason why we put them on the back of the canvas is because then it elevates the canvas off the table and the composition that's made on the sides of the canvas isn't spoiled by sticking to either plastic or pee pads or whatever. Just helps to, oh, and it also helps aerate the canvas as well because it's air going underneath the dries. I have also, if I can tell you, ooh, oh my God, it's like a bass drum. I know. I've sprayed the back of these. These are the canvases that we get. They're Artist Loft Level 3s. Yeah. And sometimes they're a little saggy in the middle. Now, you don't want that for a couple of reasons. One, because your paint will pool in the middle. Yes. And it'll affect your composition either as you make it or as it dry in. Um, so if you spray the back with water, with one of these things, oh, fairly liberally, actually, then all you need, what that will do, excuse me, is tighten up your canvas. Now you can be really, really generous. You can even run it under the cold tap. Do not be afraid, because this thing will dry out and it'll dry out nice and tight. All right, I have three paper cups. These are, I think, about four, five or six ounces. Uh, maybe four ounce cups. Four ounce cups. And I'm gonna layer these in this flip cup. Normally I'll dirty pour, but I've decided I wanna layer. Okay. Yeah, interesting, because I wanna see what kind of composition you get when it comes out. Okay. Jeremy's looking at me with a furrowed brow. But um, stay with me, show pony. Let's, let's see what happens on this one. Now, the colours I put at the bottom will be the colours that come out up on the top. And I don't necessarily want that to be white this time around. Um, so, let's start layering. These paints that I've got here that I'm going to be using today are actually a lot of leftover paints that we've been using in the in the studio. Um, that was Dioxazine Purple, that was Pearl Red, this is Bordeaux Red, this is a little bit of Iridescent Pearl from Goldens. I've got some green gold here that's mixed actually with a little bit of 24 karat gold. Um, why are we using leftovers? Well, if you're like us, you'll probably mix, you know, fairly healthy quantities of paint when you do paint and you'll have stuff left over. The paint has been in these pots with press and seal on and we want to use them up 
before they kind of go to a point where you can't use them anymore. Now, um, also, if you if your paint sits for a little while and it's uh, and you put have the press and seal, which I I I can't mm -hmm. even begin to tell you how much press and seal is amazing. Um, just if it gets a little thick, just add a little bit of water into it to get it to the consistency that you want. Right. All right. So that's my first cup layered. I'm gonna layer these differently. So I'm gonna do my next one next. All right, three beautifully layered cups. Now, because this is a flip cup, I am going to put a base coat down on my canvas. <laughs> this is Mermaid's Kiss. It's a concoction of Jeremy's and mine's. It is a mix of phalo turquoise, and that is from Golden. It's a mixture of 24 karat gold and a little bit of Golden's iridescent fine. And it's a really, really beautiful color. Golly, it's warm in the studio today. It's really warm. All right, show pony. Now let's flip these cups onto this canvas. So I do have a bit of an idea that I'm going to do two up on this side and one down on that side. And my plan is to flip this cup this way, this cup this way, this cup this way. Okay, you can do a flip and drag. I'm going to do flip and drags and then a lip. I'll tell you what that is when we get to it. Um, all right, let's get to flipping and dragging these cups. So you are right, Chopin. It's got to flip and drag because I'm going to flip the cup and then I'm going to drag it along the canvas. Yes. Let's do it. Let's drag there, more flip. I wonder if I have enough paint on this canvas. I think I will when I tilt it out. Yeah, you will when you tilt it out. All right, now I'm gonna lip it. So I'm gonna take the lip of the cup and integrate the colors into each other. Jeremy, do you know what time it is? It is flip cup dragging tilting flip, time. Flip, lip, flip, drag and lip cup tilting time. Flip, drag and lip <laughs> cup tilting time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
Ooh, I like this one. I like it a lot, actually. I love how torching it just brought up all these multicolored cells from underneath mm -hmm. some of the colors. Basically, because you're kind of like dragging that paint on top of each other. And there's all those layered paint underneath. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot, Show Pony. Good. This is a triple flip, drag, and lip cut on this 12 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to scrape my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I am really excited today. Boy, are you excited. I am excited. I tell you what, I'm hot. It is hot in here. Yeah, it must be like 90 degrees in the studio today. It's definitely yeah. getting summer. It is, it is definitely. In summer. In summer. You don't even know what that is. Yes, I do. That's Olaf. Oh, well done. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so what I have here today What do is, you have here? I have a cup with a pen in it. And what's it called? This is called a grenade pour. Yay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my, or I'm going to dirty pour actually into okay. this cup. Yeah. And then I'm going to flip it onto my canvas and I'm going to pull this pen out like a grenade. Right. And it's going to explode down onto the canvas. Wow, I'm excited for this one. I know, I am too. Just because I've really loved these colors. You know, we've, yeah. we've mixed colors here from maybe two or three of our previous pours in the Yeah, great. totally. Okay. So, um, um, I'm also using a Payne's gray base coat, not a white base coat like I normally do. Right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and layer my uh, dirty, uh, dirty pour in my cup. You're gonna dirty layer. I'm gonna dirty layer. Dirty layer. So you are gonna layer into some of the iridescent pearl fine. Yes. Okay, love it. All right. Ooh, what, what next? What next? First? You know, I'm gonna go in with some of this. That's the dioxazine purple. Now it has got a little bit of 24 karat gold in there because it's been mixed from a couple of previous pours. If you've never done a dirty layered cup before, let me sh tell you that Show Pony, uh, you'll be dripping a lot on your canvas, so don't worry about it. I know. Show Pony is, is pouring these colors into his white from up high. Up high. And the reason for that is to allow them all to like mix and melt together. Just wanted to put a little bit of that gold in there. Love it. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with this beautiful turquoise blue. Okay, so. Are you excited? I am excited. Are you still excited? I'm still excited. I feel like you've got a really lovely, I'm sure, I'm a little bit, it's a little bit of a shame to me that you didn't use the green gold. Cause I think that that would have looked really nice in that pot, but I understand <coughs> that you didn't. You you're didn't. gonna, you're gonna understand that that red and purple is gonna actually make green on my canvas. Okay. I can't wait for you to point that out to me. Well, it's right here on the cup already. Oh, so not the red and green, sorry. The blue. Wait, what makes green? <laughs> yellow. And yellow and, and blue makes blue. green. Blue, yeah. Yes, so some of that orange and that blue okay. is going to make brown. <laughs> <laughs> color theory, it's hard. Yeah, right, we didn't get that color wheel out. Um, all right, show pony. Now, this is your Payne's Gray. This is my Payne's Gray. I'm excited for this. Yes. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking this beautifully layered, or not layered, dirty, dirty layered. pour, dirty, dirty layered cup, and I'm going to flip this onto my canvas. Do it. One, two, <laughs> ooh. It went push it up. Sure did. It was a really full cup though. So. It was. There's 20 ounces of paint on there. This canvas probably only needs like 12 or 13, but well, it's always good to have a little bit more, especially when these are is. leftover paint. It is. More is more. More is more. Alright. So I'm letting that sit for a second. Now we're gonna pull the pin. 
Now I am gonna lip this. You are? Yeah. Are you gonna lip it good? I'm gonna lip it real good. Lip it, lip it good. So what you'll see with Jeremy's grenade, which is different to mine, mainly because of the dirty pour rather than the, the layered pour, is the amalgamation of colors. Jeremy's is definitely a lot more blended. <coughs> yes. And mine was not. All right. Lee wanted to point out all the green. That <laughs> I did I it have off camera. Here. I didn't want to be that much of a DB. <laughs> I was like, look at all that green. It's like Ireland. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to pull it back this way a little bit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before you start, sir. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot. You almost did. What time is it? It is tilting time. It's grenade ball tilting time. Now let's tilt this bad boy out. Alright guys, wow. I love that blue, I love this pop of gold. That red in here really took over and I'm not mad about it. You didn't use a lot of it at all. I didn't use a lot of it at all. It, it, it does have a very celestial kind of feel to it. Celestial, a galaxial. Yeah, I mean, but I, but it's, it's sitting, it's definitely selling and the cells are coming through. Look, I can see oh, the yeah. orange popping through oh, here yeah. now. And once I torch it, I think a lot more is going to happen with right. it. So. I'm gonna get my edges, I'm gonna to torch it, and I'll take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. All right, we have done many flip cups and grenades on this channel, many, yes. many, many. What did you think of yours? Um, I'm on the fence. Um, I, I kind of liked it at first, and I don't know. It seems a little muddy to me. I, th I don't know if I would say muddy because I can still see the colors. It's yeah. definitely like there's definitely a it's lot. It's just a little dark. Yeah. I was using all those light colors and stuff. Right. Um, I did use like dioxazine purple and, and that indigo. A lot. But I really thought that those lighter colors would pop more. I, I kind of wish you would have put the green gold in there because I think that was giving you a bit of a pop. 
the pearl marmalade just disappeared in your pour on a on a dirty layer. I know it did. Yeah, I, I didn't overly love it, but when I actually torched it, the cells that were popping up were very pretty. Yes. Um, what about but, yours? Well, I liked mine. I loved yours. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've layered a cup for a flip cup. Yeah. Um, I liked seeing the motion through it. I loved the big blocks of color, which you get when you layer rather than dirty pour. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. I thought it was I did. very fun. I, I liked this one a lot, actually. And I think this will probably look fun with some resin on it. Yes. We've got a lot of resin in to do this weekend. We have some boards that we've done for Pride and for monochromatic blobs and some paintings that we've both done that we've got a resin. Yeah. yeah, so lots of lots of fun stuff coming up. All right, in today's train, it is usually Gina, Mina, there's gonna be Brian there, there'll be Nate and Feral Art. Yes. Um, so please, please go check out everyone else who's pouring today. And we'll be back here again with you on Wednesday. Yes. After our little train with Just Janice and Acrylic Art by Julie. Yep. So um, thank you for being here with us and we'll see you back here on Wednesday. Bye guys. Bye, we'll see you soon. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, we've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> we've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes as most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys. 